गुरुर्ब्रह्मा गुरुर्विष्णु गुरुर्देव महेश्वर गुरुर्साक्षात् परम ब्रह्म तस्म श्री गुरव नम सरस्वती नमस्तुभ्यं वरदे कामिणी विद्यारंभं करिष्या सिद्धिर्भवतु मे सदा ओके so we have to do the um we have to do the anvay rachna right in lesson 2 yes yes okay so let us move on to the anvay rachna in lesson 2 shlokeshu anvaya kramah second lesson okay <clears throat> ुरुतिरुतिरुतिरुतिरुतिरुतिरुतिरुतिरुतिरुतिरुतिरुतिरुतिरुतिरुतिरुतिरुतिरुतिरुतिरुतिरुतिरुतिरुतिरुतिरु
Okay, Apam Sulanam is among the chaste women. Dhuri, she is in the forefront. Kirtaniya, and um, she is in the forefront to be to be praised. Margam Manushyeshwara Dharma Patni Shritehe Iva Artham Smritihi Anvagachat. Okay. Uh, like how the Smriti follows the Shriti, like that she is also following the path made sacred by the cow. And then we have a couple of adjectives. Uh, Manushyeshwara Dharma Patni and then uh, Apam Sulanam uh, Dhuri Kirtaniya. She, she who is uh, in the forefront of all the, among all the chaste women. So now let us look at the Tatparyam. Dilipasya Patni Sudakshina Na Sadharani Sa Pativratanam Purataha Gananiya Nandinyaha Kuraihi Pavitra Dhulihi Yasmin Marge Asit Tameva Margam Anusritya Gatavati Sa Yatha Vedaihi Uptam Eva Artham Smritayaha Anusritya Kathayanti Tatha Iti Drishtantaha Drishtantaha means example. Okay. Uh, Chakravarti naha patni api go marge gatavati. Patihi dilipaha yat karyam karoti shraddhaya swayam api tat karoti sma. Sa ityataha dharma patni iti tasyaha visheshanam. So who is called as a dharma patni? She who follows whatever her husband uh, does. Okay, with, with the Shraddha. So, so this is Dilipa's uh, uh, sankalpam, right? To have a child and uh, he goes and he takes up this Vratam and all that. So, whatever he does, she also is following and doing everything that he um, sets his mind to. She is being a part of everything. So, such kind of a woman is called Dharmapatni. In whatever the husband um, does, she also takes part in it with the Shraddha. Then, uh, uh, you know, uh, such a Patni is called Dharma Patni. And being a wife of a Chakravarti, still she is following this uh, Go Margam. Okay. So, um, and why is she doing that? Because she is Dharma Patni. She is following whatever her husband is doing. Okay. Now let us look at the Anvaikrama. So here in this shloka, the Kriya Padam is Anvagachat. Uh, Anvagachat. Ma'am, sorry. This yes. Mruti here refers to the commentary? Ha, yes. The... Yes, yes. Oh. So here, um, hmm. so Anvagachat is the Kriya Padam. Anu Agachat, that is the uh, anu is the prefix and agachat is the actual kriyapadam and here a sandhi happens and anvagachat is the one. What it uh, means is following. Anugatavati, that is the meaning, is the kriyapadam. Ka anvagachat, who is following manushyeshwara patni. Kidrishi manushyeshwara dharma patni. Kirtaniya means she who is who should be uh, praised. Okay. Kutra Kirtaniya, where is she um, eligible to be praised? Dhuri means in the forefront, means among among all. That is how it means. Among who? Kasam Dhuri, in the forefront of whom? Of all the chaste women. Apam Sulanam. Kam Anvagachat, and whom did she follow? Margam. So here come, um, here Markam is an Apumsaka Linga Shabda. So Kim could have been fine. Um, Markam, okay. Kam Anvagachat, Margam Anvagachat, Kidrisham Margam, Kuranyasa Pavitra Pamsum. Ah, so it has to be Kim, which is fine. Kasyaha Margam Tasyaha, Katham Anvagachat. Shrutehe artham smritihi iva. Like how smriti follows the shruti, like that she followed the path of the cow. Okay. So here margam, margam is, oh, it is pumlinga actually. Yes. Pumlinga, yes. Yeah. So that is why come. Okay. Kidrisham margam karanyasa, uh, sorry, kuranyasa pavitra pamsum. 
okay that which is made pure by or sacred by the hooves of the cow okay so here we have a couple of adjectives for uh, uh, sudakshina and then for the margam also okay so here uh, the anta and all are given for each uh, word so the dakaranta shabdas ukaranta shabda and all you just take a look at them when you have some time you don't have to prioritize this first try to understand the padavibhaga and the pratipadartha and the anvaya this you can uh, uh, you know do it uh, you know once you are uh, uh, how i mean is uh, this takes a second priority compared to the actual anvaya okay if you have time you can give uh, equal priority to all but if you are short on time you can focus first on the padavibhaga pratipadartha anvaya rachana and then come to this okay samasa we shall see at the end after we uh, discuss all the samasas then we will come back for each uh, shloka and look at these uh, samasta padams okay anantaram the second shloka aswadavadbihi kavalais trunanam kanduya naidarshana ಪದವಿಭಾಗಿ ತೃಣಾಂಡೂಯನೈಹಿ ಕಂಡೂಯನೈಹಿ um kavalaihi is uh, um grass okay so tasty grass okay with this these are in trutiya vibhakti so with the tasty grass uh, trunanam means of the grass kanduya naihi kanduya naihi is to uh, to scratch the body like um, um to relieve the cow of any um, itchiness that he, she has and then and why will that uh, itchiness be caused because of the flies or any other insects that are that are biting okay damsha nivaranaihi so by uh, keeping um, of the insects swairagataihi means by allowing uh, the cow to move freely avyahataihi avyahataihi without any interruption so so basically um he is attending to the cow without uh, uh, without leaving the cow even for a minute only then that uh, free movement for the cow is possible otherwise um, otherwise the cow will be tied why because somebody has to keep an eye on it so and how can you serve an animal by letting it free do whatever it wants uh, so that it will have that free movement that is also that is also a kind of seva right you are letting it uh, have some good time by constantly watching it so that it does not get into any danger and uh, samrat samrat is king like uh, the king of kings kind of uh, saha so samrat saha samaradhana tatparah abhut samaradhana tatparah abhut means he is engaged in the service of this cow and how is he engaged tasyah trinanam kavalaihi aswada aswadavadbihi so by offering how how he engaged himself in the service of this cow by offering tasty grass to it by scratching her back and by letting her uh, move freely and also by um, 
by avoiding of the insects without biting him in the previous him. page there is a mm -hmm. uh, one sentence as mm -hmm. a preface to this ha 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 अतः दिलीप सुदक्षिणा आश्रम संप्रेष्य अनुचरानमी प्रेषितवा सो सो बेसिकली हियर इन द मॉर्निंग बोथ ऑफ देम वोकअप एंड सुदक्षिणा परफॉर्मड पूजा टू द कौ एंड आफ्टर द पूजा इज पर्फॉर्मड एंड आफ्टर द कैफ हेज ड्रंक द मिल्क फ्रॉम द मदर Uh, then the calf was tied, and uh, uh, and the and Dilipa started leading this cow into the forest. Right, so that that is what is given here. Tatha ha Dilipa ha Sudakshi nam Ashramam Sampreshya. So they she walked uh, behind the cow for a for a particular distance. That is when she followed the cow for a certain distance. now after they reached a certain distance and when it is time for them to almost enter the forest dilipa asked sudakshina to go back to the ashrama so sudakshinam ashramam sampreshya anucharanam anucharanapi okay preshitavan means other followers whoever are also following the king they might have a few people who are uh, with the king right so anucharan api preshitavan he after sending his wife he also sent back his uh, uh, other people and then he he uh, solely he all by himself is taking care of this uh, nandini and he is serving so as the that free movement is when nandini is moving towards the towards forest so by allowing her to move freely and also feeding her grass now and then and also scratching her and also if any insects are there uh, shooing them off and doing all this he is taking care of nandini and serving her in that way okay so here let us look at the tatparyam sudakshina ashramam prati nivritta sevakaah api pratyagachchan raja dilipah ekaki dhenum nayan aranya marge gatavan सह धेनवे त्रिनानी खादितुम ददाति स्म तानी त्रिनानी बहु रुचिकरण रुचिकरान्य रुचिकरान करान्यासन रुचिकरानी आसन बेसिकली दैट इज द स्प्लिट रुचिकरानी आसन तदा तदा राजा धेनोह शरीरस्य उपरि हस्तं प्रसार्य कण्डूयनं करोति स्म शरीरे स्थिता दंशा दूरी कौति स्म नंदिनी यत्र गंतुम इच्छति तत्रैव राजा अपि गच्छति स्म तस्याह गमनस्य निषेधम न करोति स्म एवं विविध प्रकार चक्रवर्ती दिलीप ताम नंदिनी सेवितवान् ओके सो शी सुदक्षिण वेंट बैक टू हर आश्रम Uh, went back to the ashram sevakaah also went back and then raja all by himself dhenum uh, nayan he led the cow into the aranya marga uh, and on the way he also was feeding her grass and that grass is very tasty and then tada tada means occasionally he was also uh, hastam prasarya means uh, spreading out his hand he was scratching her kanduyanam karoti sma sharire sthitan damshan so on the body of the cow there will be insects right some mosquitoes flies this and that so he was duri karoti sma he is showing them away nandini yatra gantum ichchati tatraiva raja api gacchati sma so he he is let he let her free completely she is free to go any side he is simply following her right behind her to make sure that she is safe tasyaah gamanasya nishedham na karoti sma so he did not restrict her movement in any way evam vividha prakaraihi chakravarti dilipah tam nandinim sevitava so the kriya padam here is abhut kah abhut sah abhut kidrishah sah samrat sah कीदृश अभूत सराधन तत्पर 
So that Samrat means that king is there. How is he there? By serving. Samaradhana tatparaha abhut. Kasyaha samaradhana tatparaha. Kasyaha. Whose uh, service is he doing? Or in whose service was he engaged? Kaihi samaradhanam. And by what did he do the service? Kabalaihi. And uh, here we have several, right? There are several ways that he engaged in the service. One is by offering grass, kavalaihi. Kidrishaihi kavalaihi, by offering what kind of grass? Aswadavadbihi. Kavalaihi. Kesham kavalaihi. And again, what uh, here kavalaihi is uh, directly not like grass, like... Uh, like uh, morsels of grass, like uh, little bunches of grass, like that we have to understand. So here, uh, Trunana. So what bunches of, bunches are made of what? Of the grass. Trunana. Kesham kavalaihi Trunana. Punaha kaihi samaradhanam kandu yanaihi. By scratching. He, he was engaged in the service. By also by scratching. Punaha kaihi damsha nivaranaihi. He was also engaged in uh, making the insects, uh, you know, fly away. Punaha kaihi swairagataihi. By also letting her move freely. Kidrishaihi swairagataihi avyahataihi. So, how is he letting her move? It is not like for only certain periods of time he is letting her move freely. And other times he is tying her up or anything. So uninterruptedly. Uninterruptedly, uh, Nandini is allowed to move freely in whichever direction she likes to go. So here, um, that is the Anvaya here of this shloka. So with that, uh, this lesson is completed, right? The second lesson. So let us move on to the third lesson. Any questions so far in the first two lessons? Bhagini, this Vyakarana Shastra Gnya, is it no, it's not important. They've given about Panini. We already read that, I think, no, last week. Oh, we did. Oh, we, sorry, no. sorry. We read only the Gadhya Kavyam. I think we did not read this. Vyakarana Shastra. No, we did not read it. Ha, ha. Okay, so let me read that. Samskrita Granthakara Parichayaha. Vyakarana Shastra Gnyaha. Sorry, I thought I finished that and then we moved. No, we did only the Gadhya Bhagam and then we moved on to the Vyakarana. Okay, Paninihi. Ashtadhyayi iti Subhikshan. We completed this last week. Uh, did we do the Vyakarana Shastra Gnya? No, yeah, we did we not to because I the... I listened to we the went... recording. This was not done. No, we did not do it. Uh, we did we... not do it, yes. Okay, okay. it is okay. okay. We'll just read through it. Ashtadhyayi iti subhikhyatasya vyakarana granthasya rachayita paninihi. Apurva vaignyanika ritya rachitaha granthaha eshaha Na kevalam vyakarana shastre apitu samagre shastra prapanche eva advitiyaha asti. So this is suvikhyatasya. Vikhyata means that which is popular. Suvikhyata, very, you know, even more popularly known for its, uh, you know, for its, uh, what do you say, uh, many good uh, features. Vyakarana granthasya rachayita paninihi. Okay. And Apurva Vaignanika Ritya Rachitaha. So it is not just a Vyakarana uh, Granthaha. It has been written very scientifically. Scientifically in the sense um, there, there is a lot of uh, mathematical and uh, logic involved in this Grantha. Um, so that is why it is referred to as Vaignanika Ritya Rachitaha Granthaha Eshaha. Na kevalam vyakarana shastre, not only among other vyakarana granthas, among any grantha of Sanskrita that you take, it, uh, it is advitiyam. Okay. Uh, 
शालातुर ग्रामवासी पाणिनी शालातुरीय इत्यपि उच्यते सो ही इज फ्रॉम द विलेज बाय द नेम ऑफ शालातुर सो ही इज आल्सो नोन एज देयर इज अनदर नेम फॉर पाणिनी आल्सो नोन एज शालातुरीय एषः ग्रामः इदानीं पाकिस्ताने पेशावर जनपदे अस्ति ओके सो दैट विलेज इज नाउ नाउ कम्स अंडर पाकिस्तान लाहौर इति तस्य अद्यतनम नाम ओके दैट ग्रामम इज नाउ कॉल्ड लाहौर शालातुर ग्रामे पाणिने हे एका प्रतिमा आसीत इति चीना यात्रिकः ह्युहेन ह्युहेन सांगः लिखति so basically in that village there is also a uh, idol or how do you say what do you say that um, an idol of uh, panini you know how on the roads we have uh, we have idols of shivaji and all that so like that panini's uh, statue ha statue correct that is the word uh, statue of panini is there okay and how do we know that it is written by a china yatrika means a visitor from a traveler from or a tourist from china he wrote it in his book okay hyuhen sangah likhati trayodashyam tithau paninihi swargastah jatah iti bhavyate okay so people believe that he passed away on the trayodasha tithi atah sa tithihi vayakaranaihi anadyayana अनद्ययनत्वेन परिगण्यते सो ऑन दट तिथि वैयाकरण डू नॉट डू नॉट डू अध्ययन दे डू नॉट स्टडी ऑन दट डे मातु नाम दाक्षी हिज मदर्स नेम इज दाक्षी पिता नाम शलंगु एक काल से विषय बहुधा भिन्नाभिप्राय अस्त देर आर अलॉट ऑफ डिफरेन्ट ओपीनियन अबउट हिज टाइम पीरियड तथा क्रीस्तपूर्व षट शतक सह आसी भाव्य सो इट इज बिलीव दट ही एक्सिस्टेड ड्यूरींग द सिक्स से बीसी बिफोर क्रैस्ट क्रीस्तपूर्व पाणिने पूर्व बहव व्याकग्रंथ आसन अष्टाध्यायी यदा आगता तदा अन्ये ग्रंथा लुप्तप्राय जाता so even before panini there were many other uh, vyakarana granthah but after ashtadhyayi has been written all those have uh, lost their significance and they are out of the picture lupta means like completely missing okay uh, idanim te granthah na upalabhyante samagraha shabdharashihi suparishkritataya suparish परिष्कृततया संक्षेपेन च निरूपितः अस्ति अष्टाध्याय्याम सो समग्रह शब्द राशि सो हियर वी आर स्टडीइंग राम शब्द सीता शब्द पथिन शब्द अजंतास हलंतास एवरीथिंग राइट सो समग्र शब्द राशि सुपरिष्कृततया संक्षेपेन च सो ऑल दीस शब्दस देयर आर सो मेनी शब्दस but in a very easy way he grouped them so that it becomes easy for us to study so and sankshepena in a very uh, concise precise way paninihi sutra kramena vyakarana vishayan nirupitavan asti so he wrote a series of sutras around 4000 sutras are there in ashtadhyayi and through these sutras he wrote the rules of vyakarana वैदिक वैदिकमी अस्ति अष्टाध्याम सो वैदिक एंड लौकिक बोथ व्याकरणस व्याकरण रूल्स दट अप्लाइज टू वैदिक शास्त्र एंड लौकिक ग्रंथास बोथ आर् देर इन सर्टेन सर्टेन एप्लीकेशन आर् एप्लीकबल ओनली इन वैदिक शास्त्र Uh, so you cannot use them in laukika similarly certain laukika applications cannot be used in uh, vaidika granthas so but he wrote for both he wrote all all the vyakarana sutras for that apply for both so this is about uh, panini okay
So, uh, Panini is not the first to come up with Vyakarana that you have to remember. But he, uh, uh, Ashtadhyayi has become so famous that nobody is using anything, any other Vyakarana Granthas. Everybody is using only this since the since the Panini has written this. And how Panini has written this is people believe that he was blessed uh, by Lord Shiva himself. And that is how he came up with all these. Um, because unless he studies all the literature that is there in Sanskritam, he cannot uh, write these rules. Why? Because you need to know uh, the different applications of all, of all kinds of uh, Shabdas. Only then you will be able to come up, uh, okay, so this is this is how this Shabda behaves, right? Only by looking at a few applications of a certain Shabda, you cannot tell, um, you know, this is how this Shabda be behaves. You have to know all uh, applications and that is only possible if you read through all the literature that ever existed. So, Panini was blessed with that, uh, where he was able to, because of his... Uh, tapas, he was blessed by Lord Shiva and all of it came to him in that way. That is how Vayakaranas believe. Um, and then he wrote these uh, sutras, 4000 sutras. And uh, by sutra, it is also defined. A sutra is defined as that which is very precise, where every letter carries a meaning that is contributing towards the meaning of the sutra. And there will not be even one letter which is not uh, useful in contributing towards the meaning of that sutra. So that much uh, preciseness will be there. Um, and within 4000 sutras, he was able to write the Vyakarana for the complete uh, Samskritam. And how did he do that? He refers like say for example, there is one word okay, which will be referred to many times in a many times in many other sutras. So he will not repeat that as many times as it is needed. He will he will use it in the first sutra where it where that context comes and in the following sutras he will refer to that without having that actual word here. It is like in our programming languages we we uh, we we create functions right and then we call that function whenever it is needed with parameters. Whenever we want to use that uh, whatever calculation that function is doing, we don't re uh, rewrite the code every time through the program, through in all the other programs. So similarly, it will be amazing, but exactly that is what he has uh, done. So it will be defined in one sutra and then if it is needed, it is always referred. That is why many times the Sanskritam is compared to, uh, you know, computer uh, programming. The reason is, because of the way he has uh, the way he has uh, uh, written the sutras the logic that he has used all those concepts are now in our programming languages so that is the reason why they say that okay um okay so that is about uh, panini and then katyayanaha katyayanaha vartika karaha vartikas means um commentary or a little, not commentary exactly, it is like an explanation of the sutra. Because if you look at a sutra, we cannot understand. Even, even scholars cannot understand the sutra without the vartika. So, vartika is like one step uh, of uh, additional explanation given about the sutra. But the vartika itself is also very precise. And like uh, we cannot directly understand, even if, when we read a vartika, of a particular sutra, still we cannot understand. Okay. So, Vararuchihi uh, iti etasya aparam nama. So, Katyayanaha is one uh, Vartika Karaha uh, and uh, his another name is Vararuchihi. Eshaha Kaushambi Nivasi. So, he is from Kaushambi. Somadattaha etasya pita. Eshaha uh, Dakshinatyaha asita. Dakshinatyaha means he who comes from the south. Uh, Bhashya, so when you don't know exactly like where he belongs, that is how uh, also they refer. Bhashya karaha patanjalihi etam bhagavan iti acharyaha iti cha adarena nirdishati. So Patanjali is there, another uh, 
uh, he's a bhashyakara he wrote bhashyam on uh, ashtadhyayi so he calls katyayanah as bhagavan and acharyah out of respect etasya kalah kristu purvam uh, chatvarah shatakam syat iti panditah bhavayanti so they the scholars believe that he belongs to the fourth chatartham shatakam syat okay fourth century that is what they believe so panini is uh, from the 6th century bc and he is from the 4th century bc so in bc when the numbers are getting less it means we are moving forward in time okay vartikani nama sutranam vyakhyana rupani so what does a vartikam mean sutranam vyakhyana rupani means explanation of the sutra sutreshu prayuktanam padanam prayojana chintanam anuktanam padanam yojanam duruktanam padanam samikaranam cha karoti vartikam so basically like i said sometimes certain things are explicitly stated in a sutra certain things are not stated it should be understood that it has to be taken over from the previous sutra um and uh, so all such because we don't know right it is not like you will have here in our programming language we will have an explicit command call this function but in panini sutra such uh, explicit uh, um uh, steps will not be there it should be understood and that is why on, they, they can be understood only by you know maharshis like katyayanah and all we cannot understand it so for our purpose this vartika karaha will expand that sutra to include words that are missing means that have to be borrowed from other sutras uh, and uh, explanation of uh, the words that are already there a little bit of explanation of words that are already there and then um, um, duruktanam padanam samikaranam cha karoti vartikam so duruktanam anuktanam means that which is not said prayuktanam means that which are used duruktanam obviously means a little uh, negativity padanam samikaranam cha karoti vartikam so if there is any uh anything that is not because i i am thinking this i am thinking um uh, this is my assumption so back in those days uh, things were not written right everything is passed through uh recitation so maybe if something was pronounced incorrectly he edited, he edited it ha huh, yes so over over the years in that uh, recitation and passing on from one generation to the other there might be a few mistakes so pandit uh, panditah can recognize okay this is how it should be but this is how they are reciting it right now so such uh, corrections also will be done in the vartikam vartikani prithak grantha rupena na upalabhyante mahabhashye patanjali krite tani sammilitani santi katyayanasya vartika shaili sutra shaili meva anukaroti katyayanena vyakaranasya samriddhi visheshatah vardhita asti so basically the vartikas are not available as a separate grantha they are the sutra vartika and patanjali's bhashya all all three will be there in patanjali's bhashya either you have you will have only panini ashtadhyayi which has only the sutras or we will have patanjali's bhashyam in which the sutra vartika and the bhashyam is there the vartikam by itself is not available just stand alone vartikam will not be available okay um uh, katyayanasya vartika shaili sutra shaili meva anukaroti so like the sutra only it will be there like i said if we read we cannot make out much from the vartika without uh, um, without a guru explaining katyayanena vyakaranasya samriddhi visheshatah vardhita asti but um because of these vartikas because if the sutras were left like that nobody would have understood with katyayana swartikas at least some scholars were able to understand and even uh, then further more explanation they were able to give and because of that uh, the usage of this uh, vyakarana has increased 
Anantaram, Patanjali. So we uh, earlier we studied that Patanjali's Mahabhashyam has Katyayana Svartikas. So who is Patanjali? Mahabhashya Karaha Iti Prasiddha Asi Asti Patanjali. Paninina Kritayaha Ashtadhyayaha Vistritam Bhashyam Etena Rachitam Asti Ityataha Etasya Etadrisham Nama. Okay, so he wrote Bhashyam. Now, Bhashyam is in a more detailed form. Vartika is not as detailed. It is still almost like a sutra, but it will fill in the gaps, whatever the sutra is missing. Sutra is supposed to be like that, very precise. So, for us to understand those additional words which are, which should be understood implicitly will, uh, will be uh, specifically stated in a Vartika. But still, for people like us, we cannot understand. So, Mahabhashyam has been written by Patanjali and in Vistratena, like very, in a very detailed way, with examples and all, he will uh, write. Okay. Um, hmm. So, he is also known as Mahabhashya Karaha. Why? Because the way he wrote this Bhashyam is, uh, is excellent. Like, it is in a very detailed way. So, he is known for his for writing that bhashyam so mahabhashya karaha is also known patanjali hi kristu purvam dvi shatake asit iti panditaha uham kritavantaha santi so he belonged to the second century bc is what everybody believed eshaha kashmiravasi asit iti itihasakaran itihasakaranam abhiprayaha Itihasakaranam means, Itihasakaraha means uh, historian. So, by the historians, it is assumed that uh, he is from Kashmir. Patanjali hi Prachya Deshi yaha asit. Prachya means, uh, Prachi means east. So, he is from the east. That is what they believed. Ityapi Kechana Vadanti. Some believe that he is from the east. Some believe he is from Kashmir. Paninina Rachitanam Sutranam. Artha nirna, Nirnayaha Kritaha Asti Patanjalina. So, uh, the sutras written by Panini are proved, you can say, by Patanjali in his Bhashyam. Artha Nirnayaha. So, this is what Panini meant by this. That explicit explanation is given in the Bhashyam. Udaharana Pratyudaharanaihi uh, Shanka Samadhana di Bihi Cha Patanjali Saralaya Shailya Vishayam Nirupayati. Okay. So Udaharana and Pratyudaharana means uh, giving examples and counter examples also. So how it should be and how it should not be. Um, so both examples with examples. And Shanka Samadhana di Bihi. So in case of any uh, uh, doubts or ambiguity, Clearing that also. Stating clearly that this is this and this is not this. Okay. And in a very simple uh, style, he has uh, written the Mahabhashyam. Laukikaihi udaharanaihi lagu kathabihi vinoda vachanaihi cha saha vishaye rochakatam utpadayati. So basically, for, uh, he, he gives examples laukika udaharanas. So, that we can relate to. The examples that we can relate to. Lagu katha bihi. And with sometimes using short stories. Vinoda vachanaihi. And sometimes using, uh, you know, funny statements which also catch attention. Um, so, rochakatam utpadayati. So, by, by reading his bhashyam, people will get interested. Why? Because it, he made it interesting. Chatran bodhayataha guruho sambhashana shaili adrita asti patanjalina. So, how uh, chatran bodhayataha guruho. So, when a guru is teaching his students what kind of uh, um, sambhashanam he does, in that way he has written um, the bhashyam. Shastra kshetre mahabhashya sadrishi anya kritihi sudurlabha eva. So, Mahabhashyam. That is why it is called Mahabhashyam. Many other people have written many Bhashyas for many Granthas, other Granthas. But 
the the extent like like uh, given here the examples that he uses uh, the stories sometimes that he writes to make the students understand and the shyly all these are so exclusive that it is there is no other maha uh, there is no other bhashyam which is as good as this bhashya ataha eva bhashya vishaye eka prashamsoktihi shruyate so with respect to bhashyams that are available there is one sukti what is it mahabhashyam va pathaniyam maharajyam va palaniyam iti so either you read um, the mahabhashyam or you uh, rule a kingdom so it is equal to ruling a kingdom so that uh, that is how great uh, mahabhashyams how well it is written okay and then we have bhattoji dikshitah सुप्रसिद्धस्य सिद्धांत कौमुदी इत्यस्य ग्रंथस्य रचयिता भट्टोजी दीक्षितः एषः महाराष्ट्र देशीयः सो नाउ देयर आर 3 दीस 3 आर कॉल्ड त्रिमूर्तीस आल्सो ऑफ व्याकरण हु पाणिनी कात्यायनः एंड पतंजलि ओके बट नो मैटर हाउ वेल ही हैज रिटन द महाभाष्य फॉर पीपल लाइक अस for people like us directly people like us we cannot understand even the mahabhashyam why because not because that is complex we, we are not at that level of understanding uh, mahabhashyam with whatever basic knowledge that we have so bhattoji dikshitah has written siddhanta kaumudi another book which is there in ma syllabus in many universities in that he has again written even more further explanation okay and even that we could not understand without our professor explaining to us so that also again still needs guidance from the guru the siddhanta kaumudi also okay but so bhattoji dikshitah is the author of siddhanta kaumudi which is now like we had it in our ma syllabus and i heard that many other universities also have that okay so that is at our level and even that without the help of a uh, proper uh, guru we cannot understand so he is from uh, maharashtra etasya pita lakshmidharah shabda kaustubah praudha manorama ityadayah granthah api etena likhitah so he wrote uh, these other two granthas also esha uh, kristh shakam उत्तरार्थे आसीत इति विद्वद्भिः निर्णीतम् अस्ति सो अदर स्कॉलर्स थिंक दट ही इज फ्रॉम द थर्टीन सॉरी सिक्सटीन सेंचुरी ओके आफ्टर क्राइस्ट क्रिस्त शकम उत्तरार्थे मीन्स आई थिंक ऑन द लेटर हाफ ऑफ थर्टीन सिक्सटीन सेंचुरी एक सिद्धांत कौमुदी व्याकोके suprasiddha it is definitely popular um in the among the vyakaranas they even conduct exams uh, on 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 that book not not as a part of a university syllabus but people whoever are interested can sign up for that um, exam and uh, prakaranas will be their chapters so you can pick uh, they, they have uh, different levels so Uh, the first level in the first level exam you have to cover so many prakaranas uh, and then when when you are ready you can take the exam like that so it is very popular among the vyakaranas uh, today in this time period uh, prakriya kramena sarvesham paaniniya sutranam arthaha udaharana sahitam nirupitaha asti atra so basically from siddhanta kaumudi what how the teaching mode will be is first they will tell you the panini sutra then you will read the vartika then you will read the siddhanta kaumudi uh, explanation with examples and all um hmm bhashyadinam gambhiradhyayanam kritva mahata parishramena parishkritataya nirupitah asti esha grantha भाष्यादीनां गंभीर गभीराध्ययनं गंभीराध्ययनं और गभीराध्ययनं कृत्वा सो आफ्टर सो हाउ डिड भट्टोजी दीक्षितः हैज रिटन दिस आफ्टर ही हैज स्टडीड एक्सटेंसिवली द भाष्यम 
written by Patanjali and the Vartikas and everything, then he has written this Siddhanta Kaumudi. Okay? Siddhanta Kaumudhyam yat uktam tat pramana rupena angi kriyate shastragnyaihi. So, but finally the product is so good that you can quote this book and tell, okay, it is given in Siddhanta Kaumudhi. So, this is how I am uh, taking this. So, this has been agreed upon. Tattva bodhini, uh, tattva bodhini Jnanendra Saraswati Virachita Bala Manorama Vasudeva Dikshita Virachita Ityadini Siddhanta Kaumudhyaha Vyakyanani Suprasiddhani So, there are other uh, books also written um, Oh, no. There are again Vyakyanams on the Siddhanta Kaumadi. So, if you cannot understand the Siddhanta Kaumadi, then there are again, uh, you know, uh, commentaries on the Siddhanta Kaumadi, which are written by, one is Tattva Bodhini, the other one is Bala Manorama. Uh, so, those are also well-known, well-known commentaries of Siddhanta Kaumudi. So, see how many layers are there for one Sutra of Panini. The Vartika is there, Mahabhashyam is there, Siddhanta Kaumudi is there. And then coming this Tattva Bodhini and Bala Manuram. So they, and it is definitely needed. We cannot understand otherwise. So that is about uh, Bhattoji Dikshitaha. Nagesha Bhattaha. Vyakarana Shastre Suvikhyatasya Nagesha Bhattasya Aparam Nama Nagoji Bhattaha Iti. Shiva Bhattaha Etasya Pita Mata Sati Devi. Shringavera Purasya Ragnyaha Rama Simhasya Asthane Asit Eshaha. Kristu Shakam 1662-1730 Etasya Jeevita Kalaha Iti Panditaha Manyante. Laghu Shabdendu Shekharaha Paribhashendu Shekharaha Laghu Manjusha Parama Laghu Manjusha Ityadayaha Granthaha Etasya Suprasiddhaha. Okay, so he wrote all these granthas. Vyakarana Shastrasya Siddhanta Bhagaha Prakriya Bhagaha Cha Etena Suparishkritataya Nirupitaha Asti. Eshaha na Kevalam Vyakarana Shastre Apitu Alankara Yoga Vedanta Vedanta Adi Shastreshu Api Nishnataha Asit. Etena uh, pancha Chatvarim Shatta Taha Adhikaha Granthaha Likitaha Iti Shruyate Vyakarana Shastre Nagesha Bhattasya Abhiprayasya Vishesha Mahatma Masti. Okay. So again, he has, uh, he is also a Vyakarana uh, Laghu Shabde Indu Shekaraha Paribhashi Indu Shekaraha Laghu Manjusha Parama Laghu Manjusha Ityadaya Grantaha Etasya Suprasitta. So these are all again Vyakarana uh, Granthas. But not only in Vyakarana, he is well versed in Alankara, Yoga, and uh, Vedanta and other subjects also. Okay. So that is about the Kavi Parcheya or Granthakara Parcheya. Vyakarana Shastra Jnana. Okay. So the main are basically the first three and uh, of course uh, um, Bhattoji Dikshitaha. Why? Because that book is very well used right now, currently. Okay. So now let us move on to the third book, third lesson. Hmm. So here we have this one line proverb Maha Janasya Samparkaha Kasya Nonati Karakaha Na Unnati Karakaha. Okay, so the Karmadharaya Samasa, 
So last week, what did we do? Tatpurusha Samasa we studied, right? And Samanya Tatpurusha and Nai Tatpurusha we have studied. In Samanya Tatpurusha, all the Vibhaktis. Vigraha Vaar. Before, uh, before that, how do uh -huh. we split uh, no Unnati Karaka? Is it Na Unnati Karaka? Or uh, how do we split? Them? It is Na Unnati Karaka only. Um, it's how can it not bring, is it? Uh, I mean, uh, yes. Okay. For anybody, kasya na unnati karaka ha. How so can to anybody, not... how can it not uh, be beneficial? Okay. Yes. Okay. So, uh, yeah. So, we did uh, Tatpurusha Samasa, Samanya Tatpurusha and Nai Tatpurusha. Under Nai Tatpurusha, we have a group of uh, Samasas. Uh, Nai Tat Purusha, Pradi Samasa, Ku Samasa, Gati Samasa. Dagri, Dagri can I ask you a question? Ah, yes. Ah. So last time, this, uh, I put a question last week about ah. uh, Suga, Sumati, Sugati kind of thing. Yes, yes. The ku, ku Samasa and Pradi Pras Samasa, you mentioned it as a Pradi Samasa. Ah. Pradi Samasa, what are all the pratyas that are uh, involved in that uh, Pradi Samasa? In Pradi Samasa, what are all the uh, prefixes that you get is what you're asking, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So basically, is there any, I, I, also, here, right? I also don't know exactly the list of all the words uh, or letters that you get, but how you will identify is look at the meaning. Look at yeah. the meaning, it will be elevating. Like uh, Sumatihi means, Matihi is mind or uh, how you think. So Sumati is, uh, 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 you know, he who thinks above all. Sorry? Okay. Above all means your thinking is advanced. Uh, so somebody who has such kind of thinking Sumati is called Sumati. Is good, 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 good thinking basically. Ah, good, good is always above, right? Like uh, only when you think in a matured way, it is called good thinking. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That sense okay. you can you can take. So always look at the meaning, what that meaning of that word is. Then you will be uh, able to identify if it is Pradi Samasa or not. Mm. Yeah, uh, that's what I said. A little confusing actually. And uh, Kusamasa okay, okay. is always uh, has that negative uh, negative meaning. Kusamasa is only for negative? Yes, many times it is negative. Many times no, it is negative only. It is her only negative, basically. Yeah. Okay, and okay. Pradi Samasa usually is used in a good sense. It is above. It surpasses the normal uh, normal uh, oh. thing. Okay, 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 okay. So anybody who is normal or anybody hmm. who surpasses a normal um, benchmark, so then it will come under uh, Pradi Samasa. Okay, okay. So, so that uh, is why you always look for the meaning of the word. Look at the meaning of the word, and then it will. Be yeah, yeah, it's always the meaning of the word only. But uh, mm. uh, I, I think it's the same pattern, so it could get into the Kusumasa ah, So they case. haven't covered extensively about uh, the words of Pradi Samasa. We don't have many <laughs> words. Whatever are given in this book, only that much. And even okay. I haven't studied a lot about Pradi Samasa outside of this syllabus also. Uh, okay, but okay. Uh, we can identify based on the meaning all of it. We can identify Pradi Samasa. All, all right. All right. Okay. okay. Thank you. So then, uh, so that is the Samanya Tatpurusha and Nai Tatpurusha. So Karmadharaya is also again a Tatpurusha Samasa only. But it is given as a separate, uh, you know, more significance. Why? Because there are again so many divisions here. So many special cases of... Uh, Karmadharaya also we have. So here, basically, Visheshana Purvapada Karmadharaya, Upamana Purvapada Karmadharaya, Upamana Uttarapada Karmadharaya, Sambhavana Purvapada Karmadharaya, Avadharana Purvapada Karmadharaya, and Madhyama Padalopi. So Visheshana Purvapada and Visheshana Uttarapada is also there. Here it is not given. Uh, but basically, so what it means is Neela Megaha. So here, Megaha is the word. Nilaha is only a Visheshana to Megaha. 
So here, this in this Tatpurusha Samasa, Nilaha is the Visheshana and it is in Purvapada. It is uh, in the first word. So the Samastapadam has two places, Purvapada, Uttarapada. So the Purvapada is the Visheshana here. So you call it Visheshana, Purvapada, Karmadhareya, Samasa. Okay. And then Upamana, Purvapada. Now Upamana is simile. So if you are uh, like uh, Chandra Mukhi, here Chandra uh, is used as a Upamana to the face. He, uh, he who has face like that of a uh, moon. Okay. So Upamanam. The Upamanam here is Chandra, which is in Purva, Purvapada. So Upamana, Purvapada, Karmadharaya, Samasam. And then we also have Upamana, Uttarapada. So here the Upamana will be in, in the second uh, position. Like Narasimhaha. So here the man is compared to the lion. He is like lion. So here Simhaha is the Upamana. But it is in Uttarapada. So Chandramukhi will be sorry, feminine. Chandr Chandramukhi will, Vikrahavakya will be uh, Chandramiva Mukhi, uh, Mukham Yasyaha Saha. Ah, sa. Yes. Okay. So um, here Narasimhaha. So here Naraha is the actual, we are talking about a man, but who is as powerful as a lion. So Simhaha is the Upamana here and it is in Uttarapada. So Upamana, Uttarapada, Karmadhareya, Samasa. And then Sambhavana, Purvapada. So Sambhavana means Jati and Vyakti. So here, jati is always a class and vyakti is one specific uh, uh, piece or part. So say for example, you have uh, uh, vrikshaha. Vriksha is a jati. Amra vrikshaha is one kind of uh, vrikshaha. So here, vrikshaha is considered as jati, whereas amra is considered as vyakti. Okay, it is one, one type of vriksha, like that. So here, Amra Vrikshaha. So here Amra is the Vyakti. So in a particular Samastapadam, if we have the first part as Vyakti and the second part as the um, Jati, then it is called Sambhavana Purvapada uh, Karmadhareya Samasa. So Sambhavana refers to the Vyakti and uh, which is followed by the Jati. The Uttarapada is followed by the Jati. The Uttarapada will be the Jati. So, Amra Vrikshaha, Bharata Deshaha, uh, such, uh, such words will come under Sambhavana Purvapada Karmadhareya Samasa. Avadharana Purvapada Karmadhareya Samasa. So, Avadharanam means emphasis. So, the emphasis is on the first word. Vidyadhanam. Vidyadhanam. Vidya Eva Dhanam. So, uh, so, uh, so, tasya vidyadhanam asti. So, to him, vidya only is his dhanam. He doesn't have anything else. Vidya only is his dhanam. So, here the emphasis is on uh, vidya. We are emphasizing the fact that that is all what he has. Or that is what is important. Right? So, um, avadharana purvapada karmadhareya samasa. Madhyama Padalopi. So here, basically, um, Chaya This is Tarohu. like a metaphor, no? This Avadharana, is it like a metaphor? I am saying uh, knowledge only is wealth. Hmm. Previous one was a simile. This is like yes. a metaphor. Yes, we can say that. Oh. Metaphor, actually, we use that more in Alankaras. But uh -huh. yeah, you can... You can yeah, however you can connect to it, that is fine. But the emphasis <laughs> should be there. Okay. Yeah. And then Madhyama Padalopi, here, so the uh, middle word will be missing. It is as uh, directly like what the word is saying. Madhyama Padalopi, the middle word is missing. Like Chaya Taruhu, these are a little difficult to identify because we never know, unless you know the meaning of the phrase or how it is being said, Sometimes, initially, you will uh, find it difficult to identify, but but uh, it is not. Uh, with uh, practice, I think we will be fine. 
So chaya taruhu, chaya pradhana taruhu. Chaya taruhu means a tree which is known for its shade. Means it does not give any fruit or flower. It is primarily grown or used because it gives a lot of shade. So chaya pradhanaha taruhu. So here the pradhanaha word is dropped. Chaya taruhu. So madhyama padalopi. So otherwise there is, see, what did we discuss about samasa padam? The two words should have some kind of relation. So here, if I simply say chaya taruhu, there should be some relation between this chaya and taruhu. So to, to, to express that relation, we are saying chaya pradhana taruhu. So but the pradhana is dropped. Chaya taruhu. That is why madhyama padalopi. There is no other way to connect the two words. So that is why it is categorized as madhyama padalopi. Yeah, there, there is no vibhakti relation between them. There is no visheshana, visheshya bhava. There is no upamana, upameya bhava or anything. So, th this is categorized as uh, madhyama padalopi. Okay. So, now let us uh, read uh, further the sentences. Jaina munihi shvetambaram dharati. Okay. Shvetambaram. Ambaram. And Shvetam. Shvetam Ambaram. So, a white cloth. Okay. So, what, what uh, Karmadharaya is this? Visheshan. Visheshan ah, Puni will become uh, Sambhavana Purvapada Karmadharaya Samasa. Okay. Mm -hmm. Akashe Neela Meghaha Drishyanti. Akashe Neela Meghaha. Neelaha Meghaha. Also Visheshana Purvapada. Visheshana Purvapada Karmadhari. Krishnaha Ghanashyamaha Asit. Ghanashyamaha. Ghana means dense or dark. Shyamaha is cloud. Upamana Purvapada. Purvapada. Karmadhari. Huh. Is it Upamana or... Uh, or uh, Visheshana. The Ghanaiva Shyamaha. So here Ghanaiva is taken as black. Because it is compared to Ghanaiva Shyamaha. Like. So here, Ghanaha itself is taken as a dark cloud. Maybe. Okay. So he is dark like the dark cloud. In that sense, we have to take. Only then it will become Upamana. Anantaram. Himashitalam. Himashitalam peyam arogyaya na bhavati. Peyam means drink. Himashitalam. That which is cold. As cold as the himam. This also is Upamana Purvapada. This also is Upamana Purvapada Karmadhariya Samasa. Here the coldness is being compared to that of uh, Hima. Ice. Hmm. Uh. Janakaha Rajar Shihi Asit. Raja Eva Rishihi. Raja Avadharana Purvapada. Ah, Avadharana Purvapada Karmadhariya Samasa. Raja Eva Rishihi. The king himself is. is uh, the Rishi. So, again, Raja Rishi Iva. Anichadu, yeah, yeah. Raja Rishi Iva. So, one thing with the Samasas is you can decline them however you want based on the context. Yes, of course, yeah. yeah. Uh, but again, however you want means it has to make sense, definitely. Yeah, so, Rajarshi, yeah. Rajarshi can be declined either as uh, Avadharana Purvapada or Upamana Purvapada. <laughs> okay. Upamana Uttarapada. Raja Rishihi Iva. So, the king is like the Rishi. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, king is like the Rishi when you say it will become Upamana Uttarapada. Raja Eva Rishihi. The, the king himself is the Rishi. If you say. Means... The practices that he do are like that of a Rishi. 
then it will come under avadharana but i think in uh, in this context um, raja rishihi eva so the king is like a rishi the king himself is the rishi can we say the king himself is the rishi the king yes. is like the rishi yeah it all depends on how you are trying to describe a king so it again depends on the qualities of that particular king so depending on that you can decline it as either avadharana or kutumana uttarapada actually rishi like was, raja is what is supposed to be no, but uh, it says raja. janaka was a royal saint that means janaka itself was a royal saint kada so it will be avadharana only Ah, here Janakaha is Rajarshi. That is what the sentence says. Mm -hmm. Now we are trying trying to uh, explain the word Rajarshi. Yeah, in that context, it says Janaka himself was a royal saint. Janakaha so Rajarshi hi asi. Janakaha hmm. is a Rajarshi. There is no emphasis uh, on. No, no Janaka himself is so much like a Rajarshi means there is a Rajarshi uh, designation. It's not like that, madam. Janaka was a Raja, but a Rishi like Raja. Hmm. So it will be Upamana, you feel? Upamana, ha, upamana only. Is For Janaka, it is Upamana only. For Janaka upamana Maharaja, upamana we, can, uh, we can take it as Upamana, Uttarapada, Karmadare, Samasa. Rishi like Raja, Upamana, Uttara. Hmm. Upamana, Uttarapada, Karmadare, Samasa. Yes, that's it. That's it. Hmm. Uh, so, uh, Priya Bhagini, for your, for your question, if the sentence is like Janakaha Rajarshihi Eva Asit, oh, Eva. then, uh, Eva then that there. emphasis will come. Okay? Okay. Yeah. Or Janakaha Eva Rajarshihi Asit, Janaka himself is you know, mm. then the emphasis will come, what you are saying. But here we have to look at the emphasis within the word, within the samastapadam only, you have to look if there is emphasis. Mm. Not with the adjacent word. Within that word, like vidya dhanam, vidya eva dhanam. Within mm. that word so, only, between the two words, if that kind of emphasis is there, that, that is what we have to see, to, so, to uh, see if it is avadharana. So, if this vidya dhanam that you said, vidya mm. eva dhanam, so vigra mm. vakyam is vidya eva dhanam. Mm. Right? Correct. So, yes. for this Rajarishi also, the vigra vakyam, suppose, hypo, mm. uh, whether it is hypothetical or mm. raja, raja eva rishi, you know, mm. if we, if we, you we can uh, write... give the vigra vakyam like that, then mm. in that case, can we write it as uh, avadharana? avadharana? Yes, of course. If you write it like that, you have to write it as avadharana only. Avadharana. Okay. Uh -huh. So you Raja can, uh, eva rishi. Raja himself is the rishi. But rishi. like I said, uh, the context also should apply. Yes, yes, uh -huh. yes. If it uh, makes yeah. a sense uh, in a particular context, then yes, we can say that also. Okay. okay. Then Pramadwara um, Karakisalayena Pushpani Avachinoti. Kara kisalayena. Kara is hand. Kisala is, uh, kisalaya is uh, like uh, lotus uh, shoots or tender shoots. Okay. Usually it is compared to lotus only. You know how for the lotus, uh, the, the shoots come up, right? And they are very tender. They look tender, but they are not tender. I once uh, tried to pluck one and it was not coming. <laughs> So, so Pramadwara, so her hands are being compared to uh, very, um, you know, shoots, tender shoots with her, ten, uh, with her tender hands or hands that are tender like the shoots, she is plucking flowers. So here, Kisalaya is the Upamana. So Upamana Uttara. Uttarapada Karmadhariya Samasa. Mama Grihasya Purataha Narikela Vrikshaha Asti. Avadha, no, Jati. Ah, Sambhavana Purvapada Karmadhareya Samasa. Ganga Nadi Uttara Bharate Pravahati. 
अगेन संभावना पूर्व पद ऋषय तपोधन से व्यय न कर्म इच्छा तपोधन से तपोधन सो वट डज ऋषि हेव तपोधन मीन तप एव तस्धन Okay. His treasure is his uh, tapas only. Tapodhanam only he has. He doesn't have anything else. Avadharana. Avadharana. Purva pada karma dharaya samasa. Ekalavya ha dronam guru devam matva dhanur vidya bhyasam akarot guru devam guru hu eva devam. Devam. Avadharana. 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 Purva pada karma dharaya samasa. Guru hu eva deva ha. अस्मिन् प्रकोष्ठे छात्राणां द्वाविंशतिः अस्ति द्वाविंशतिः हम्म दिस इज दट मध्यम पद लोपी द्वा अधिक विंशतिः द्वाविंशतिः मींस 22 मींस 2 मोर देन 20 सो हियर द्वा अधिक विंशतिः इज व्हाट द एक्चुअल विग्रह वाक्य विल बिकम सो मध्यम पद लोपी so what is the relation between dva and adhika sorry dva and vimshatihi it is two more than two vimshati. more than 20 ah. so always for a samasta padam we have to see what is the relation between the two words only then we will be able to understand which samasa it is mm. so here what is the relation between dva and vimshatihi It is two more than twenty, so more. So that word is not there. So madhyama padalupi. Anantaram. Bengaluru nagare sarvatra margasya ubhaya parshvayo ho chaya taravaha santi. Bengaluru sarvatra madhyama padalupi. Madhyama padalupi. Margasya ubhaya parshvayo ho. means on both sides of the road chaya taravah santi so chaya pradanah taravah taruhu or taravah in bahu vachana okay so this is also madhyama padalopi okay and then visheshah so here earlier uh, for visheshana purva pada samasas how did we write the vigraha vakyam neelah megah घन श्याम लाइक दट वी हेव रिटन नौ हियर अ लिटिल बिट मोर इलाबरेट वे ऑफ रईटिंग द विग्रह वाक्यम फर् विशेषण पूर्वपद कर्मधारेय सामस सर शोन हियर सो देर आर् टू वेस् इन विच द विग्रह वाक्य ऑफ विशेषण पूर्वपद कर्मधारेय इज गिवन वन इज नील उत्पल एंड नील चतत उत्पल च while following the second you must keep in mind the gender and number of the visheshya and visheshana that are compounded okay so basically you can write it simply as neelam utpalam or neelancha tat utpalancha okay so that also you have to this is another way of writing the vigraha vakyam now again let us look at more examples eka vachane unnata balakaha उन्नत च असौ बालक चे मीन अ टॉल बॉय यू कैन सिंपली से दिस एज उन्नत बालक दट इज दट इज द सिंपलेस्ट वे ऑफ रईटिंग द विग्रह वाक्यम बट हिईज ओन आलो गिविंग एनदर वे ऑफ रईटिंग वी आर् आलो बीइंग शोन हौ टू रईट इन एनदर वे उन्नत च असौ बालक चियर असौ इज लाइक सह it is like saha okay uh, it is another shabda it is uh, i think a shabda let me once quickly check it is like uh, basically saha only mm. Mm. adas actually this is adas shabda sakaranta pumlinga sarvanama shabda okay sarvanama shabda so basically asau amu ami these are the prathama vibhakti forms so in prathama vibhakti ekavachana it will become asau so it is like saha okay hmm 
So, uh, so instead of aso, you can also use saha to be to keep it simple until you get used to the word aso for a while. Okay. So unnataha, unnataha cha aso balakaha cha. So he who is tall in that in that sense. Unnata balika, unnata cha aso balika cha. So this particular uh, um, adas uh, shabdaha is there in uh, stri also, sarvanama strilinga also. And here also you have asa only. Prathama vibhakti ekavachana rupam is asa only. So that is why in the strilinga also um, asa is given. Unnata cha asa balika cha. So she who is tall in that sense. Okay. Balikaha is given. So basically it is in Bahuvachana. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I am looking at the next one. Yeah. Unnata cha asau balika cha. Unnata bhavanam. Unnatam cha tat bhavanam cha. So this adas shabda is there only in Pumlinga and Strilinga. It is not there in Napumsaka. So for Napumsaka, again we came back to our tat shabda. So unnatam cha tat bhavanam cha. Okay. That building which is tall. So that boy who is tall, that girl who is tall, that building that is tall. In the in that sense, you can read a read that Vigraha Vakya. Okay. And then in Bahuvachana, Unnata Balakaha, Unnataha Cha Te Balakaha Cha. Here again they came back to the Tad Shabda only. They did not use the Adas Shabda. In Adas Shabda, in Pumlinga, the Bahuvachana will become Ami. But for some reason, they did not use that in the Bahuvachana. Only for the Ekavachana uh, in Pumlinga and Strilinga, they have used. Okay? So that is why I am saying, if it is too much for you, you can simply use Saha also. There is nothing wrong. So, Unnataha Cha Te Balakaha Cha. So, those that are tall. Those boys that are tall. Unnata balikaha. Unnataha cha. Taha balikaha cha. Okay. So those girls that are tall. Unnata bhavanani. Unnatani cha. Tani bhavanani cha. Okay. This is for Visheshana Purvapada Karmadhariya Samasa. Again, if you are not comfortable right now, don't worry about it. The easiest way and the correct also, which is also correct way of writing is Unnataha Balakaha. Unnataha Balakaha. Unnata Balika. Unnataha Balikaha. Unnatam Bhavanam. Unnatani Bhavanani. This is perfectly fine. But if you have some extra time, you can practice this way of writing the Vigraha Vakyam also. So then we have Taddhittantas. We have covered two types of Taddhittantas. One is uh, a parent and child relation. And in the second one, we have seen any kind of relation. Like uh, a person belonging to Bharata Deshaha is called Bharatiyaha. A person who comes from the south is called Dakshinayaha. Dakshinayanaha. Utta, uh, Uttariyaha. Or I, I think I am saying it wrong. Uh, how do you say that? Uh, uh, dakshinatyaha, dakshinatyaha, so uttaratyaha, um, for uh, uh, uttaratyaha we can say, and paschatyaha for uh, for uh, person coming from the from the west. Okay, like that. That is another kind of relation. So they are still related. Like we are we are trying to explain certain some kind of relation in the tadditantas. Now, in this, uh, we will be seeing. Again, I wanted to ask you uh, mm -hmm. one question mm -hmm. relating to Taditanta. This, uh, is it necessary to uh, say Apatyam Puman? Can I not say Putraha? Parasharasya Putraha Parashara. Mm -hmm. Should I necessarily say Apatyam Puman? It is only a technical language that is used. So um, basically, when it comes to technicality and especially when we are taking uh, an exam, I would recommend you to write that only. Okay. Normally, when you are telling in a normal context, you can say, uh, you know, Dasharathasya Putraha. 
dasharath mm. but when but uh, we are taking an exam right so that uh, technicality they want you to know the technical way of uh, dissolving that taditta padam as per the grammar text so there it is given like apatyam puman so we need to learn that so apatyam means of spring of uh, spring. both uh, of okay. mm. apatyam means of spring puman is uh, male child stri is female child so tarap and tamap pratyayo so two pratyayas are there here one is tarap and the other one is tamap now here we use these as a superlative uh, like rama is taller than lakshmana sita is more beautiful than uh, gauri whatever however okay and rama is the tallest of all the boys okay rama is taller than lakshmana that is uh, you know one degree and then rama is the tallest of all the boys okay that is superlative right so here um taraha is used tarap the tarap pratyayanta is used that one degree means rama is taller than krishna okay and tamap is used for the superlative rama is the tallest of all then we use tamap tarap we use it when the comparison is being done between two people and tamap we use when the comparison is done among a group of people okay when one stands out in a group so let us look at some sentences rama krishna yoho krishna ha chatura taraha so krishna is cleverer than rama rama be between rama and krishna and between those two krishna is cleverer balakeshu krishna ha chatura tamaha among all the boys krishna is the cleverest okay so tarap for uh, between when the comparison is made between two people and tamap is uh, when we are trying to identify one in a group similarly strishu shakuntala sundara tama strishu among all the ladies so tamap sundara tama since this is a strilinga sundara tama if it were um, pumlinga sundara tamaha okay like that and then amra naranga yoho amram madhura taram in napumsaka this is in napumsaka amra naranga yoho means between mango and naranga amram madhura taram Ma mango is sweeter than sweet lime then naranga okay so here the comparison is only between two fruits so taram tarap is used tarap pratyaya is used because it is napumsaka taram it became taram so like this you can use uh, the tarap and tamam for comparisons okay more will come in the exercise now here again um, another type of uh, taddhitantas are used again here also relation it is indicating relation pituhu bhrata father's brother pitravyah matuhu bhrata matulaha we have learned pitravyah matulaha we all uh, we learned these words in pravesha itself right pravesha and parichaya now the vigraha vakya in the context of taddhitantas is given pituhu pita pitamahah father's father matuhu pita mata mahaha mother's father like that you can write uh, the vigraha vakyams uh, for all these uh, relation tadditta padas and then here again they are belonging to one category vyakaranah one who studies or knows vyakaranam nayayikah one who studies or knows the nyaya shastram so it is uh, the nyaya darshanam nyaya shastram all these pauranikah one who studies or knows the puranas rashtriyah related to the nation graminah living in a village a villager nagarikah we say he who lives in a town or civilized supposed to be dakshinatyah he who is from the south 
Paschatyah. He is he who is from the west, from the west or born in the west. You can take it as either way. Paurvartyah, born in the east. Uh, Prachyah also you can say. Prachi means east. Uh, Kutratyah, from which place belonging to which place. Tatratyah, from there belonging to that place. Hyastanaha, yesterday's, belonging to yesterday. Okay. Hyastanaha, Dinapatrika, Kutra Asti. Hyastanataha, Hyastanaha, Dinapatrikam, Patativa. Did you read yesterday's paper like that? Adhyatana, today's. Adhyatana, Adhyatanaha, Dinapatrika, Kutra Asti. Today's newspaper, where is it like that? Dante Bhavaha, Dantyaha. Means that which is produced by the teeth. So in our alphabets, the tha varga comes under dantyaha only. Okay? The tha, tha, the dha, na, this and uh, the sa, all these come under uh, dantyas. Kante bhavaha, kantyaha. So the, the ka varga comes under this. Okay? Kantyaha. It is a kantyaha. Mukham iva, mukhyaha. Mukham iva means mukhyaha. So mukhyaha means important we say, right? So normally we use it as important. Mukhyaha means this is important. So why is it used? Mukhyaha, why is the word mukhyaha used to indicate importance? Because it is prominent. Something that is important is very prominent like the face. Out of the body, the face is always identified, right? I always wonder, even with animals, see, we are people we know, but animals, they look you directly at your face only. How do they know that, um, you know, that is your face? So, because th that is more prominent, it has some kind of expression and it is drawing the attention and all. One second. Okay, so then we have uh, Shvastana. Shvastana means tomorrow's. Shvastana Karya Kramaha Kim. What is tomorrow's program like that? Oh, that is, oh, I missed that before Dantyaha. Okay, Kante Bhavaha Kantyaha. So the Kavarga in the alphabets is Kantyaha. Mukhamiva Mukhyaha, that which is prominent. Samajam Rakshati Samajikaha. Samajikaha. We say, no, Sama, Samajikaha. We refer to a person who belongs to a society. So, it is not only if he belongs to the society, he who contributes to the society should be called a Samajikaha. Contributes in a beneficial way. Sabhayam Saduhu Sabhyaha. Sabhayam Saduhu. Fit for an assembly. So, any person who is a part of a meeting is not called Sabhyaha. Only if he is, again, fit to be in that meeting, then he is called Sabhyaha. Ashvena Tulyaha Ashvavat. So, similar to horse. Like this, many Vat words will be there. Okay, this only as an example one is given. Ashvena Tulyaha means uh, like a horse. Now, we have some avyayas also in Taddhittas. Now, all these, some of these are, uh, uh, no, not all of these are uh, avyayas. Now, vayakaranaha, it is an akaranta pumlinga shabda. Right? Dasharathihi, ikaranta pumlinga shabdaha. Like that, all these are not avyayas. Means they can be declined in all the vibhaktis. But uh, there are some avyayas also in Taddhittas. What are those? Tha, tra, taha, da, danim. 
these affixes are added to some pronouns to express different meanings. So let us see. For the pronouns yat, tat, sarva and kim. Now you, you all know the yat, uh, sarva nama shabda. Uh, yaha, yau, ye, in the Pumlinga it will come like that. In Strilinga, ya, ye, yaha. In Napumsaka, yat, ye, yani. Right? He who, uh, yaha tatra tishtati saha ramaha. He who is standing there is Rama. Yaya saha aham gachami sa sita. With whom I went, that lady is sita. Like this. Okay? These are the yat shabda. Now with that yat shabda, you can add all these uh, suffixes. So the tha, if you add yatha, uh, if you add it to the tat shabda, if you add the tha suffix to the tat shabda, tatha, and then similarly to the sarva shabda, sarvatha, and then for the kim shabda, if you add, it will become katham. Okay? So yatha is like how? Yatha Raja Tatha Praja. Like how the king is, like that the people will be. Sarvatha means like all, uh, in all ways, in all kinds. That is how Sarvatha means. Don't confuse that with Sarvada. Sarvada is all times, always. Sarvatha is in all kinds, in all different ways. Okay? In that sense. Katham, you all know how. Anantaram, the same yat, tat, sarva and kim shabda, if they are joined with tra, the suffix tra. So, yatra, tatra, sarvatra, kutra. So, here it is used in the sense of location. Okay. Yatra, yatra, what is that uh, shloka? Yatra, yatra, rama, kirtanam, 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 tatra, tatra, kritam, mastakanjalim. So, wherever there is Raghunadha's uh, Kirtanam, there uh, Anjanaya Swami will always be there with his uh, folded hands. That is what it means. Uh, so, Yatra and Tatra, Sarvatra, everywhere. Kutra, where? And then again, the same Yat, Tat, Sarva and Kim joined with Taha. Yataha, Tataha, Sarvataha, Kutaha. It is used in the sense of ablative, means Panchami Vibhakti. Panchami Vibhakti. Okay, Tataha, from there. Sarvataha, from all sides, from everywhere. Kutaha, from where? Saha Kutaha Agachati, where did he come from? Yataha, from where he came? Um, there, you can also say, you can also use it like that. Or Yataha, there is another usage of Yataha. Why? Because. Okay, yataha, we can also use it in the sense of why because. Right? Aham bahihi na gachami yataha vrishtihi bhavati. I did not go out. Why because? It rained. Like that. You can use it in that sense also. Okay. Anantaram, the same yat, tat, sarva and kim joined with da. So, yada, tada, sada or sarvada and kim. Uh, kim will become kada. And then idanim, tadanim are also there. These all are indicating the time. So, we, we you all have used these words before, right? In the Pravesha, Parshaya levels. So, these, this is how they are all derived. So, these are all Tadhittanta Abhyayas. We learned them as Abhyayas. But they are derived. Whenever a word is derived, it is called Tadhitta. If it is a Kriyapadam that is derived, then we call it uh, Kridanta. But uh, otherwise, it is uh, Tadhitta. Okay. Now, let us see some more sentences. Balakeshu Suhasa, uh, suhasaha Sthula Tamaha, Balakeshu. Among all the boys, Suhas is uh, fat, is the fattest. So, this is Tamap. Sumati Saraswatyoho, Sumatihi Sundaratara. Between Sumati and Saraswati, Sumati is the more beautiful one. So, Tarap, 
ಪ್ರತ್ಯಯ ನಿರ್ದೇಶಕೇಶು ಸತ್ಯಜಿತ್ ಪ್ರಸಿದ್ಧತಮ ಆಫ್ ಆಲ್ ದ ಡೈರೆಕ್ಟರ್ಸ್ ಸತ್ಯಜಿತ್ ಇಸ್ ಮೋರ್ ಫೇಮಸ್ ಆರ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಫೇಮಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಆಲ್ ಮೋಸ್ಟ್ ಫೇಮಸ್ ತುಳಸಿ ಬಿಲ್ವ ಪತ್ರೋ ತುಳಸಿ ಪತ್ರ ಲಘುತರಂ ಅಸ್ತಿ ಕಂಪೇರ್ಡ್ ಟು ಬಿಲ್ವ ಪತ್ರ ತುಳಸಿ ಇಸ್ ಸ್ಮಾಲರ್ ಇನ್ ಸೈಜ್ ಶ್ರೀನಿಧಿ ಶ್ರೀನಂದೋ ಶ್ರೀನಿಧಿ ಕುಬ್ಜತರ ಅಸ್ತಿ ಸೊ ಬಿಟ್ವೀನ್ ಶ್ರೀನಿಧಿ ಅಂಡ್ ಶ್ರೀನಂದ ಶ್ರೀನಿಧಿ ಇಸ್ ಶಾರ್ಟರ್ ಕುಬ್ಜತರ ಅಸ್ತಿ ಅರುಂಧತ್ಯ ಮಾತಾಮಹ ಶ್ವ ಆಗಮಿಷ್ಯತಿ ಅರುಂಧತೀಸ್ ಗ್ರ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ಮದರ್ ಮ್ಯಾಟರ್ನಲ್ ಗ್ರ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ಮದರ್ ಇಸ್ ಕಮಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಮಾರೋ ಮಾತಾಮಹ ಸೊ ಮಾತು ಮಾತಾ ನೋ ಮಾತು ಪಿತ ಗ್ರ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ಫಾದರ್ ಸಾರಿ ಮಾತಾಮಹ ಮದರ್ಸ್ ಫಾದರ್ ಮಾತು ಪಿತ ಭೋ ಮಿತ್ರ ಶ್ವಸ್ತನ ಕಾರ್ಯ ಅದ್ಯ ಚಿಂತೆಯ ಟುಮಾರೋ ಸ್ವ ಟುಡೇ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ಯು ಪ್ಲಾನ್ ಸಹ ಅತಿಥಿ ಕುತ್ರ ದಟ್ ಗೆಸ್ಟ್ ವೇರ್ ಇಸ್ ಹಿ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಯತ್ರ ಸ್ಥಿತ ಸಹ ಪ್ರಸಿದ್ಧ ಗಾಯಕ ಅಸ್ತಿ ಸೊ ಹಿ ಹೂ ಇಸ್ ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡಿಂಗ್ ದೇರ್ ದೇರ್ ತತ್ರ ಹಿ ಇಸ್ ಅ ವೆರಿ ಫೇಮಸ್ ಸಿಂಗರ್ ತದೀಂ ಉಕ್ತ ವಿಷಯ ಪುನರಪಿ ಇದೀಮುಚ್ಯತೆ ದಟ್ ವಿಚ್ ಇಸ್ ಟೋಲ್ಡ್ ಎರ್ಲಿಯರ್ ಇಸ್ ಟೋಲ್ಡ್ ಆರ್ ರಿಪೀಟೆಡ್ ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ಲೆಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಲುಕ್ ಎಟ್ ದ ಅಭ್ಯಾಸ ಆರ್ ವಿಲ್ ಡೂ ಒನ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ ವಿಲ್ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಸ್ಕಿಪ್ ದಿ ಅಭ್ಯಾಸ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ವಿಲ್ ಡೂ ಇಟ್ ಎಟ್ ಎ ಸ್ಟ್ರೆಚ್ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ವೀಕ್ So let us look at the Subhashitani. Sujano na yati vikritim parahita nirataha vinasha kaleti chedepi chandana taruhu surabhayati mukham putharasya. Okay. So sujana na yati vikritim parahita nirataha vinasha kaleti. Okay. So a good person, sujanaha, a good person, na yati, will not take. Vikritim means a, a bad uh, path. Okay, he will not take a bad path. Parahita nirataha vinasha kaleti. Even uh, he will not take a bad path. He is always working towards the benefit of others even when he is in vinasha kala even when he is in uh, difficulties okay chedepi um, chandana taruhu surabhayati mukham kutharasya kuthara means axe kutharasya mukham surabhayati chandana taruhu chandana taruhu is sandalwood tree even when the axe is cutting it down it is only putting fragrance on that axe it is not uh, it is not uh, doing any harm to the axe okay even when the axe is harming her or him so similarly good people also when they are being hurt by others they do not uh, wish them any bad they will only do good for them okay so that is the meaning of this uh, subhashita like a sandalwood tree so let us look at the padavi bhaga sujanah na yati vikritam ಪರಹಿತ ನಿರತ ವಿನಾಶ ಕಾಲೇ ಅಪಿ ಛೇದೇ ಅಪಿ ಚಂದನ ತರುಹು ಸುರಭಯತಿ ಮುಖಂ ಕುಠಾರಸ್ಯ ಸೊ ಪರಹಿತ ನಿರತ ಸುಜನ ವಿನಾಶ ಕಾಲೇ ಅಪಿ ವಿಕೃತಿ ನಯಾತಿ ನಿರಂತರ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಆಲ್ವೇಸ್ ಹಿ ಹೂ ಇಸ್ ಡೂಯಿಂಗ್ ಗುಡ್ ಫಾರ್ ಅದರ್ಸ್ ದಟ್ ಕೈಂಡ್ ಆಫ್ ಸುಜನ ಈವನ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಟೈಮ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಡಿಫಿಕಲ್ಟಿ ವಿಲ್ ನೆವರ್ ವಿಶ್ ಬ್ಯಾಡ್ ಫಾರ್ ದಿ ಅದರ್ಸ್ ಚಂದನ ತರುಹು ಛೇದೇ ಅಪಿ ಈವನ್ ವನ್ ಬೀಂಗ್ ಕಟ್ ದ ಚಂದನ ತರುಹು ಕುಠಾರಸ್ಯ ಮುಖಂ ಸುರಭಯತಿ ಇಟ್ ವಿಲ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಮೇಕ್ ದ ಫೇಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ಆಕ್ಸ್ ಮೋರ್ ಫ್ರೇಗ್ರೆಂಟ್ ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ಲೆಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಲುಕ್ ಎಟ್ ದ ತಾತ್ಪರ್ಯ ಲೋಕೆ ತಾವತ್ ಮನುಷ್ಯ ಏಷ ಸ್ವಭಾವ ಯತ್ ಯದಾ ಸಹ ಸ್ವಯಂ ಕಷ್ಟ ಅನುಭವತಿ ಆಪದ್ರಸ್ತ ವಾ ತದಾ ಸಹ ಕುಪಿತ ಭವೇತ್ ದುಃಖಿತ ವಾ ಭವೇತ್ 
so in in the world naturally or normally what is the what is uh, how do people behave is when they are in difficulties they tend to get angry or sad kintu satpurushanam swabhavah na tadrishah but good people's uh behavior will not be like that te sarvada paropakare eva niratah santah svasya nasha samaye api kamapi vikaram na prapnuvanti so they always uh, uh do things beneficial for others they never uh, do otherwise even in their times of difficulties tat katham iti kavihi ekena udaharanena darshayati now how is that possible he is explaining with an example यथा चंदन वृक्ष छेदन समये अभी सहज गुण सुगंधम न जहाती अभी चेदना उपयुक्त कुठारमी सुगंधयुक्त कौती तथव सज्जना नाश समये अभी परोपकार बुद्धि न परत्यजी लाइक हाउ अ सैंडलवुड ट्री इट्स स्वभाव इज टू गिव ऊट फ्रेग्रेन्स इट इज नाट लीविंग दट ऊट लीविंग दट स्वभाव when it is being cut down similarly a good person also will not leave his swabhava of helping others even in times of his difficulty okay anantaram sahitya sangeeta kala vihinaha sakshat pashuhu puchcha puchcha vishana heenaha trunam na khadan api jeevamanaha साक्षात् and he doesn't have uh, you know that uh, what do you call that uh, horn. other uh, horn horn uh, horn horn, uh, horn. Uh, hmm trinam na khadan api jeevamanah tad bhagadeyam paramam pashunam so trinam na khadan api so he does not eat grass though he does not eat grass he is still considered as an animal that is what uh, that is what it means but that is for the benefit of the animals itself he not eating the grass is for the benefit of animals why because if they start eating grass then there will nothing be left for the animals in that sense it is said bhagadeyam paramam bhagadeyam pashu nam so it is it is for the benefit of the pashu only okay so let us see the anvaya here sahitya sangeeta kala vihinah narah puchcha vishana heenah sakshat pashu eva trunam na khadan api jeevamanah tat pashu nam paramam bhagadheyam gadyatmakam padyatmakam cha kavyam विचार प्रधान शास्त्र चाहित्य शब्द विवक्षित सो वट यू मीन बै साहित्यम ईदर इट शुड बी अ गद्यकाव्यम और पद्यकाव्यम एंड विचार प्रधान शास्त्र मीन दट फॉर अवर नॉलेज विचार प्रधान मीन सम कैंड ऑफ नॉलेज यू नो शास्त्र दट गिव सैंड ऑफ नॉलेज ऑल दीज कैन बी कन्सिडर्ड ए साहित्य साहित्यन ज्ञान अभिवर्धते संगीत शिल्पेन च आत्मसतोष भवतीषु त्रिषु एक ज्ञान मानव से आवश्यक सो एमंग दीज थ्री एटीस्ट वन शुड बी एंजॉयड बै ह्यूम इट इज नीडेड एटीस्ट द नॉलेज ऑफ वन ऑफ दीज द काव्यम शास्त्र Uh, and sahityam sahityam or uh, kavyam is the same uh, the shilpa kala here shilpa here in particular the shilpa kala is mentioned but knowledge of any of these uh, is needed by a human ekasmin api vishaye yasya utsahah na bhavati sah pashuhu eva if a person is not interested in any of this then he is equal to a pashu pashoh pucham 
शृंगे चुष्य तो तानी न सी इतना भेद सो द ओनली डिफरेन्स विल बी दट ही डज नॉट हेव अ टेल एंड हॉर्नस एंड ऑल दट अपर अेद अस्त यृण न खादी पशव तो खादी एनदर डिफरेन्स इज ऑलसो देर द ह्यूम डज नॉट ईट ग्रास वेर एज दि एनिमल डज किंतु एतत् पशूना परमं भाग्यमे बट दट डिफरेन्स इज फॉर द बेनिफिट ऑफ द एनिमल ओनली अन्यथा पशूना तृणमे दुर्लभम सैत् अदरवाइज द एनिमल विल नॉट गेट इवन द ग्रास टू ईट सो दट इज दुभाषिता ओके सो काव्य कथा शेल वि रीड Or shall we read next week? Next week. <laughs> okay. So we shall stop here. Um, so next week, let us continue. Thank you. Okay. Thanke vada, Bhagini. Thanke vada. Thank you, Bhagini. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.